The wine country earthquake triggered smaller jolts that shook nearly every fault in the Bay Area. So that raises fears of an even bigger seismic event. The U.S. Geological Survey says Sunday's quake hit in a 44-mile zone of fault lines. Many of them are tied to the San Andreas Fault, which runs nearly the length of California. Senior editor Brian Walsh covers environmental issues for Time magazine. Brian, good morning. Good morning. How concerned are scientists at this point about serious activity kicking up again? Well, I think at this point, usually you have the major aftershocks that might occur from a quake about 24 hours after that quake. So we're basically passing that point now. So I think they're not too concerned about major aftershocks from this quake. But the reality is that this is one of the most seismically active, most dangerous fault zones in the world. We've seen quakes in the past, major quakes, really. Uh, it's really only a matter of time before you're likely to see one that's far more destructive than this one. We just heard John say in his piece that the 10 second warning system worked. Brian, 10 seconds doesn't seem like a lot of time, especially when he said, Earthquake in three, two, two, one second. Yikes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. It's not a whole lot of time. But for one thing, uh, if they develop the system now, which is going to take actually millions of dollars that I believe have not yet been budgeted, uh, you, you're looking more at 30 seconds, maybe 40 seconds. Even that doesn't seem like a lot of time. But if you could send, say, automatic signals to buildings to stop elevators so you're not right. caught in between right. or mm -hmm. any kind of warning to trains to slow down or anything like that, you can really reduce some of the risk of, of death and, and, and injury that can come from a major quake. This was the first major test. Was it, would, I mean, did, did it basically work? From an experimental basis, I think it definitely worked. The idea that you were actually able to see in advance before the actual destructive waves that cause damage actually hit, I think it's very important. We, we always talk about the big the one big in one. California. Yeah. You yeah. know, I mean, how do we, is there any way to anticipate it or is it? Not really. I mean, the, the, you can't anticipate it on a, on a sort of short-term basis. It's a bit like climate. You know that it's going to happen probably within the next 20, 30 years. Will it happen next year? Will it happen five years from now? That's what we don't really know, which is why it's very important to invest in earthquake safety, resilience, because if you're going to live in an area that has a history of quakes, you, you're going to have to expect them to happen in the future. Yeah, the people there say they're used to it. Thank you, Brian. Thank, Thank you. you very much.